Moving on from that, we're going to head into some sneaker news. Now, I wanted to talk about these cactus plant flea market Nike Dunk Lows, quote unquote, overgrowns. The news around them is as follows. Allegedly, they were meant to come out a while back ago and they were meant to come out sans this sort of kind of crazy fur overgrown monster kind of um, things they got on top of the upper, right? That's how they were meant to come out. But then for the most, for some reason they got delayed and it was said that the designer for Cactus Plant Flea, for Cactus Plant Flea Market went back to the drawing board. They wanted to make some additions and changes to it to kind of really make it, make them her own. And then that's when these are added on top of it, which is really interesting because you don't really see that often when it comes to Nike collaborations. Um, you know, usually when you see an image that gets leaked of a collab, they usually come out quite soon after. Whether, whether it's because Nike get nervous and think because people have seen it too early, they might get put off it regardless. Or I don't know what happens, but you rarely see a leak of a shoe from a big collaborator that then goes back to the drawing board and gets edited again. Usually you just stick with what you see or maybe a slight tweak. But this is a complete design change that completely changes the entire sort of like silhouette look and feel of the shoes and weirdly enough I know I shouldn't like them and I know I should be kind of dissing them but I really really like them I like whatever style I like whatever this is whether it's a Grinch thing whether it's inspired by something else but I think they look so loopy in the same way that Jeremy Scott and this looked really crazy and kind of far out there and really different from what you'd see out on the market that these are quite refreshing because essentially it's still a dunk that um, the cactus plant flea market person has basically reinterpreted or re you know reimagined but it's been done in a more interesting way which is why it made, which is what made the first edition of it so interesting even though i said i didn't like it it still made it interesting because at least they tried to kind of you know make it their own the, the midsole is kind of a bit messed up the uppers are a bit tweaked so it doesn't actually look like a dunk but it is based on a dunk kind of base and model but i feel like this fur kind of weird grinch print thing they got going on on top of it which is a combination of like dark greens lime greens forest greens pine greens and all other greens and you've got this really crazy speckled um laces going on there as well it looks absolutely incredible for me i really 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 like them and i can't wait till they come out now i'm hoping that this dunk low collaboration with cactus plant flea market isn't a tier zero sort of thing because usually that happens right usually um i remember that what was that last collaboration they did on the nike dunk that was kind of like covered in um diamantes and shit right that was like a friends and family type pair and then the one that came into general public was a little bit more toned down i'm hoping this is not the friends and family tier zero pair and then the one we get is going to be the one without the fur on it i hope this is what we everybody is able to buy in the stores because i feel like they're really interesting really different and really kind of um tell a different story with this whole dunk resurgence thing that's been going on for the cu past couple of years it feels like because i'm already tired of the dunk shape i've had enough of it i don't really care for the menu i've never really cared for dunk that much anyway in the first place i've always been more of an air force one guy but over time especially over recent time the the resurgence of the dunk and the, the re-celebration of it from nike has been super ott they've been pushing it down our throats non-stop but i do feel like if you're gonna do a dunk and you're gonna do it well this is probably the way to do it and i'm really really excited to see these come out and hopefully they do come out very very soon i think there's another picture here that i wanted to check wanted to show you just yeah so additional pictures here courtesy of over under which look absolutely sick especially once they're kind of taken you know courtesy sorry of an account called private selection i think they're a podcast in the show or, or a store or something but they put together these really clear pictures that kind of show exactly what they look like and essentially because at first when i saw them i thought the fur on the top um or the, the material whatever it may be was um was removable i thought it was like a skin similar to kind of what um travis scott did on his air trainer ones so he had that kind of sort of like tent thing that you kind of you know uh button up and whatnot i thought that was the same thing with these but clearly it's not clearly the upper is going to look the way it's going to look like that i've seen here in the picture because you've got the laces that kind of go over it which is going to be interesting to see how people lace them up because how are you going to be able to find the holes with all this fur covering it but i would imagine that if you wanted to wear them without laces you could because dunk lows if i'm not mistaken sb is having an elasticated tongue they have a puffy tongue and elasticated tongue which obviously helps to keep your foot in one place um so i'd imagine that'll be pretty easy to kind of not wear laces with them if you don't want to but i think they look really cool i think they look really interesting like again like i said they look like nothing else on the market at the moment even from a designer collaborate even from like a design 
designer brand you're not seeing them make something as crazy as this which they probably should make i said it many times i think here on the show that i do get disappointed when like high-end fashion brands just copy like a new balance silhouette or like an air max silhouette or whatnot or an air force silhouette because i feel like it's lazy especially given the resources they have they should be trying to do more interesting things um with with footwear and trying to present more interesting ideas and put together different propositions but they just tend to go for the same old same old tire silhouette so to see um cactus plant flea market do this and basically you know take a dunk which is again a tired tired model that definitely needs to be put on the back shelf and just kind of given the rest and told to RIP the fact that they've been able to take such a tired and overdone model and really revamp it to the point where even I am a fan of it says a lot about them and what they're doing but these look absolutely sick I'm really I'm a big fan of them the insole have this like left right thing on the insole too it looks sick but essentially they're in covered in green once I like, I like that as well that one shoe on the other side is kind of like inverted when it comes to the colors so you get different sort of color makeup on there which i think makes them look far more interesting too on foot and i really can't wait to see these out about in person people wearing them but i definitely like them. i think they look absolutely fantastic i'm sure there'll be a marmite shoe that most people won't be a fans of but i absolutely love them and everything about them and i'm hoping hoping fingers crossed that these don't these aren't like a tier zero thing oh look actually the midsole also is different right on the right and the left shoe one shoe is kind of like this gray somewhat like upcycled midsole thing like you know what nike did before when they'd kind of get what was that thing that nike did where they would um recycle soles and whatnot or old shoes sorry and make them and make the rubber of the outsoles of new shoes into them i think they should put that option on nike id too so one side of the shoe i think it's the right has that kind of gray um speckled recycled type look and the other is a dark brown sort of like a uh, muddy sort of look so that's pretty cool to see from the out in when you're wearing them so that's a really really nice addition so you got, you got the brown outsole and then you got the gray outsole on them also but yeah these look absolutely hard i'm a big fan of them i know some people on here won't be a big fan of them i'm gonna be like i guess you know what you're saying you're absolutely going crazy but i like everything about them oh look the entire upper is different too so even at the back of the hill tab um the one with the gray outsole and midsole um is also got a gray hill cap and same goes for the brown so definitely completely different and you've got this nice speckled um laces there maybe i would have preferred to have rape, rope laces instead of these flat laces they might have worked better in terms of this upper and the fur type color and look they're going for but i like everything about them and then on the tongue you've got the nike in uh, you know logo um stitched on there on the top which is quite clear and then you've got the cactus plant flea market cpfm logo brand motif kind of there as well on the outside but yeah they look absolutely hard again always interesting the thing i like about cactus plant flea market even though i don't like everything they do at least they have a point of view they have some sort of vision they have a proposition that's different from everyone else out there they're not just putting out nonsense or just kind of regurgitating the same old same old so it's nice to see them actually doing some interesting things out there so when they do end up coming out when's the date do we have a date here because the hype is article there's no date so far when they're meant to be coming out um nike dunk low overgrown by cactus plant flea market no it's no date yet holiday season sometime soon but hopefully we get a, a date for them soon because i'm definitely going to try and copy them because they look absolutely sick i'm a big fan i'm a big fan